Hey everyone, let's talk about something that's probably not on your radar yet, but absolutely should be, the flu. Yeah, I know, we just got through a global pandemic and the last thing anyone wants to hear about is another virus. But here's the thing. The signs are pointing to this year's flu season being a particularly nasty one. So why the alarm bells? Well, to figure out what might happen here in the U.S., experts look to the Southern Hemisphere, specifically countries like Australia and New Zealand. Their winter is our summer, so their flu season happens right before ours. It's like getting a sneak peek into the future. And folks, the sneak peek is not looking good. This year, Australia had its worst flu season in five years. Their cases started spiking way earlier than usual and hit hard and fast. We're talking hospitalization rates well above the average. And what's really concerning is who it hit the hardest, kids and teenagers. In a typical flu season, it's usually the very young and the elderly who are most at risk. But in Australia this year, children aged 5 to 9 had the highest rates of infection, and teenagers weren't far behind. So what does this mean for us? Well, for the past two years, because of all the masking, social distancing, and lockdowns for COVID, flu cases basically disappeared. Our immune systems haven't really had to fight off the flu virus recently. Think of it like this. Your immune system's army hasn't had a real drill in a couple of years. It's a bit out of practice. This concept is called immunity debt. And it could mean that when the flu does show up, our bodies are less prepared to fight it off, leading to more severe illness. Now add another layer to this. We're also dealing with the ongoing circulation of COVID-19 and other respiratory viruses like RSV. The possibility of a triple-demic, a surge of flu, COVID, and RSV all at once, could put a massive strain on our hospitals and healthcare workers who are already exhausted. Imagine getting sick but the local urgent care is full and the hospital has no beds. That's the nightmare scenario doctors are worried about. Okay, I know this all sounds pretty doom and gloom, but I'm not telling you this to scare you. I'm telling you this so we can be prepared. So what can you do? First and foremost, the flu shot. Health officials are begging people to get their annual flu vaccine. The vaccine is updated every year to match the strains that are circulating and getting it is the single best way to protect yourself and those around you. It might not stop you from getting the flu entirely, but it dramatically reduces your risk of severe illness, hospitalization, and death. And all those habits we learned during the pandemic, they still work. Washing your hands frequently, staying home when you're sick, and maybe even considering wearing a mask in crowded indoor spaces, especially as we head into the fall and winter months. The bottom line is this, a tough flu season seems to be on the horizon, but unlike a hurricane, we have the tools to weaken its impact. Let's not get complacent. Let's use the preview Australia gave us, take this seriously, get vaccinated, and stay healthy.